Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So last video uh, we didn't have coils and we've just been en route to this desert location. Well, we have coils now, literally just about a minute ago, Carl, while we were driving here, just took it out of gear, turned it off and on again. And hey presto, we're all good. We have them again. So we're now at... Uh, San Juan. Yeah, we're five kilometers away from San Juan. <laughs> uh, it's starting to look slightly more desert-like. Ironically, we've just come to a bunch more trees. Um, there have been some ridiculously long, uh, would I say ridiculous? No, very, very long straight roads with no turns um, that we've been going along. It was a couple of minutes ago, starting to look more desert-like. It's actually getting more... We're heading uh, more towards the town now, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We are more towards the town. And the sprinklers were help. Yeah, the sprinklers were help. But, yeah, just, uh, what we're doing now, really, I guess, we're heading towards the desert. When we find the desert, which I'd imagine when we get close, it'll be pretty easy, because it'll be barren. Um, we're gonna just explore a little bit and see what we find and see where we decide to set up shop. Farmers clearly doing some work. work. I've seen a few of them. Nice. Oh, got a bit of a leak going on there. Oh yeah. We're gonna just continue ambling on, see what we get. Well guys, if I zoom in, that is basically what I would imagine the definition of a tabletop mountain would be. It's just like, as far as the eye can see, at least, it's just a perfect flat. It's pretty crazy. It is a touch bumpy. Yeah, they're pretty cool though. Well guys, we're here. It was a bit of a nightmare getting up here. <laughs> Very steep. But yeah, it's really nice. There's this little building that's meant to be a top. Well, I'm sure it is a toilet, but the door's locked. Uh, there's a nice little fireplace. I'm not sure if we'll really make use of it. Uh, partially because, well, it's uh, gonna be cold here either way. And uh, you know, I've served my time when it comes to collecting wood. <laughs> And you can see my laptop and kind of drink there is just set up. I'm going to do some editing. Probably, I think I'm about to edit this video, actually. I'm not used to these vlogs being so up to date. So, yeah, just uh, as a quick note, basically, uh, we've got a proper schedule for the vlogs that we're going to be sticking to. It's slightly different and it's slightly more frequent. I'm sure many of you will be glad to hear. We're going to be posting uh, vlogs, that, the, these vlogs that you're watching now, on, well, still Wednesdays and Saturdays are staying the same. But we're also posting on Mondays as well now. Uh, the main reason for the third day is because I often found that there's just too much that we've uh, that we've got, you know, to, to put into a shorter vlog, and a few of them have been over my target of between 10 and 15 minutes. But this is a place. Uh, there's a church just over over yonder, just behind some of those trees. Nothing special, and it's all locked up, and it's just beautiful. You can see very far. You can see some of them tabletops that they may be the ones we drove through earlier. Maybe not. Yeah, so they probably are. Carl, I don't know if you heard Carl just mentioned we've been driving north like the whole time, and where we're looking now is south. So, yeah, it's nice here. It's a windy, so I'm sure it's going to get cold later on. Uh, but again, no problem. We've got the diesel heater and everything. Uh, I guess the only other thing to mention is the solar panels seem to be not behaving properly. Whether it's the panels or the um, the, the way the charger was reading it or whatever, we, we're not 100% sure. But uh, it's not reading that we're charging at all, which is a bit of a bummer because this sun is intense. Like, the 
see behind me, Carl's hung his little solar panel. Let's see if I can. There it so is. Finn just mentioned the solar panel. Um, it's a RAV power, I think. I don't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, RAV power. I don't know if you'll see that. Ah, there you go. Um, three port charge. I think this is a 60 watt panel. Um, you can see down here I have my phone plugged in and a battery bank, which is also a solar panel battery bank. You know, we're all, we're all solar. But let me just show you. Now we're pointing south, This the solar panel is pointing south, so it's getting the best sun it can basically, without being angled. So I'm getting basically one and a half amp charging, which is more than most phones bother to get. This phone can go up to five amp, so it's very limited, but this cable won't do five amp and the panel won't. Um, but yeah, so this is getting me one and a half amps worth of power, of free power, and that's power I'm not having to take from the van batteries. And the, obviously battery bank, being charged as well means that I can charge my phone from that later when there is no sun and well yeah. this is nice <laughs> working way better than we thought it would granted we cheated and put a bit of petrol on but that's long gone now yeah that was only literally just to get it crackling away and look at it go and we have all of this as you can see it's all just dead stuff we haven't chopped down any trees for this I mean personally if we were out in the middle of nowhere I wouldn't have an issue with that but it's always nicer to go for the dead stuff, and it burns better anyway, because it's all dried out. But some of these are just hanging. You're not killing a live tree either, are you? Yeah. And yeah, for now, we'll move all our laptop stuff much closer in here. Hello everybody, lovely glow you got from me as we've still got the nice fire going, um, roaring away, you can kind of see the uh, the horizon is just beautiful, you'll have seen a time lapse sort of thing for the um, sunset, but that's what we've got now, it's still absolutely beautiful, um, but yeah, so this is basically, if the evening I think we've got this, I'll go and we'll cook some dinner, um, not another cooking with Carl episode, I'm afraid, there's not really anything I'm doing handmade. Um, and yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings, so we will see you in the morning. Well, for you it'll be like half a second, but for us it's going to be a night, so ciao. Good morning. It's uh, beautiful today. So, we slept snug as a bug. It's pretty cool out here, despite the sun. Uh, but it's nice, it's fresh, kind of cool, not shivering, kind of cool. Uh, we're debating what to do today. Um, we definitely... <laughs> Carl is just doing an update to Instagram. <laughs> We're debating today uh, what we do, really. We're not planning on sticking around here. It's nice, but we need a shop. There's an Aldi that's still open, so we're gonna track that down, stock up on some meat and stuff, and from there it should be pretty cool. So yeah, we're just gonna um, finish waking up, really. We're gonna get that van packed up, and then head out, really. That's the main plan. Probably have a coffee before we go. What's up guys? This is gonna be our spot for the night, maybe a couple. 
Finn is over there doing lumberjacky stuff. But we have actually quite a, uh, a fast running little stream, river, whatever, which looks beautifully clean. And Roxy's probably gonna try and find somewhere to get down there. It's beautiful. Really cool bridge over there, which you can kind of see. Do you like it, Roxy? Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna be here for a couple of days. Got some work in now, so we're gonna get that done. Um, and yeah, we'll catch up with you later. We have fire. Before it gets too cold out here, we're gonna chill out. Although it's not too cold now, so we're hoping this area for some reason is kind of all right. We're in a valley, aren't we? Yeah, we are in a valley, but we're gonna, gonna chill out, probably get the chairs out, sit around the fire for as long as we can get away with burning it for before we run out of wood. Well, we have run out of the energy to go and get more wood. We're surrounded by the bloody stuff. We'll get a twig then. But yeah, we're gonna, gonna get nestled in. No cheating, I promise. This wood is just really flammable. So, it burns so well. It's like, how do you describe it? It's similar to petrol, really. Yeah. It almost smells like it, too. How strange. It's being reluctant, but it'll go. Yeah. It's probably a good thing it's being reluctant. Yeah, it means the stuff that we have got should burn for longer. Carl making good use of his chef torch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never said I wanted it for doing chef -y things. Oh, that's fair. Nice. Well, hello everybody, and good evening. This is a, a beautiful evening, as ever. Um, are we gonna get a focus on that sky? Let's get me out of the picture. How beautiful is that? Well, we've got the fire going. Um, Roxy's just there, as ever. She's going naked today, she's not got a collar on. We're just giving her a bit of time with it off. Let her have a good neck scratch. We built the fire pit up a little bit. Um, just to try and help protect it from the wind a little bit. It's not working too well, um, but it is firing well, I guess. Um, but yeah, we've not done a right lot today. Um, Finn's just about to finish up work. Uh, I'll be cooking dinner. Uh, probably not another cooking the Carl episode because, as I'm sure you can hear by the wind, it's a little bit too windy and I'll be cooking on the fire tonight. Um, but if you're interested, it'll be potatoes, carrots, and um, some sort of chicken thigh sauce thing. Um, I've yet to make it, so I don't know yet. But yeah, so that's actually going to be the end for this video. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss another one. Um, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, and uh, hit the like button because it helps us probably a lot more than you guys realise. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, I don't really know what we're doing next, but you'll see it. So we'll see you there.